Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here on LockerGnome.net, sponsored by go.tagjag.com slash GoDaddy. You can save 10% on your next domain name purchase by using the coupon code CHRIS when you check out. And this question on LockerGnome.net, posed by robert for you, and he's kind of intercapped his letters there in his username. Currently got karma of approximately 1,400 points, so I know I've seen his username around. He's asked a very good question and uh, gave his own perspective and, and, and an outpouring of, uh, well, opinion. Should we stop the search for extraterrestrial intelligence? SETI. It's a good question. Now, I'm of the opinion that there happens to be life somewhere else inside of this great universe. We don't even know how far it goes, right? Just when we think we know, we don't really know. In fact, it's been argued that there are more than just three dimensions. More! Like, how could we possibly know that which we do not know? It just would seem kind of nutty, really, in the grand scheme of things, if we were the only life in the universe. Certainly would be kind of depressing if we were the only intelligent life. And I use that word very loosely because to argue that we're intelligent really only takes about five minutes of watching the average television program to make you realize that uh, calling us intelligent is uh, kind of a stretch in terms of the definition of intelligence. We are sentient. We do rule this planet, at least for now. But the, the, I just can't imagine us being the only intelligent life in the universe. I, maybe I don't want to imagine a universe in which we are the smartest things out there. Actually, I think, I think some creatures on this planet are smarter than humans. We're sentient. We rule the planet. But that doesn't mean that we're the smartest out there. What about you? Do you think we're the only intelligent life in the universe? And to uh, Robert For You's question specifically, should we stop that search for extraterrestrial intelligence? I don't believe so. In fact, I think we should only intensify that search. Now, if I remember correctly, and this is just, if memory serves, I'm going to have to do a, a quick search here. There is a satellite going into orbit, the Kepler satellite, I believe, a Kepler mission uh, that is going to be scanning an area in the sky, and I believe it's uh, underneath Orion's belt. I don't know if that's known as the sheath. I'm only an amateur astronomer, only a, you know, a space geek in a light sense of that word. Uh, but the Kepler satellite and the Kepler project, kepler.nasa.gov, more information there, they're basically going to be scanning for planets in that region of the sky. And that, that's what the satellite and this project is designed to do. The hope is, is we're going to find an Earth-like planet, which with current technology is not possible. We're able to detect uh, whether a, a star or a sun has a planet based on its wobble. So essentially, if a, a Jupiter or larger-sized planet is orbiting a star, that's the only way we're able to detect uh, because it's, it's such a massive object, whether it, we're able to detect it because of a wobble or specifically because the, uh, the star's brightness is brighter and then goes dim. It could be because an object is passing in front of it, a known object in its galaxy, in its solar system. Uh, so the question is, are we going to find uh, a planet that after scanning its light spectrum and detecting what kind of elements are in its atmosphere, are we going to find uh, another Earth somewhere out there? And the chances of us finding that are going to be greater the more money and the more time that we spend on it. And quite honestly, dude, I am so tired of the arguments we have here on Earth. Seriously. Mac versus PC. Jesus versus Buddha. Democrats versus Republicans. I mean, come on! I mean, there's, there's got to be more to discover out there. 
I mean, what would you rather be discovering, right? A new way to hack your computer or a new planet? You know, I mean, it just, it boggles the mind, right? And what would make us want to reach out even further? Yeah, I'm not saying that if there was an alien presence elsewhere in the galaxy or the universe that they would be benign that they would be friendly they could be bad guys but i'm guessing that if if there were bad aliens out there they 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 knew about us already they, they probably would have picked us off because quite honestly if you if you really wanted to <laughs> you really wanted to knock us out just take us offline boy oh boy i tell you so uh i can't think of something any kind of issue that would make us feel like we were part of something other than discovering that another advanced civilization existed. So it starts by figuring out if there is life out there and then knowing and finding out if it's intelligent life. I, 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 just, uh, I, I just have to believe that it's not a waste of money. It's not a waste of resources. Absolutely not. I mean, this, is this pale blue dot of ours, to quote the great uh, Carl Sagan, uh, is just a part of this greater experience. I mean, it's beyond life and beyond life that we exist. And I would just love to know that we're not alone. I, I have that feeling that we're not alone. I have faith that we're not alone in this universe. I can't be alone. I know you're not alone. And hopefully we're not alone. So, in my opinion, no, we should absolutely not stop spending money on the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If anything, we should intensify the efforts to kind of get us past this stage in our technological adolescence to get to the point where we're not hurting each other, we're not damaging the planet, everybody's happy. I know it's utopian, but hey, if we're talking about the future, who knows? Anyway, I could go on and on about this forever. I have in the past talking about the uh, live video feed. Uh, I've gone on about the theory of ancient astronauts, which is also something that I've talked about before as a theory. I do believe it holds a small amount of water. But that's another topic for another video. Ancient astronauts. Google it. If I say it the right way. Ancient astronauts. You could Bing it, too, if you want. Bing or Google, honestly. There's another argument. Tired of it. Tired, 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 tired. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You can ask your own questions. Give answers as well on lockernome.net. Coupons.lockernome.com, where you can save money on just about anything. Geeks.perillo.com greater community where you can embed your own youtube videos get them promoted there uh then we've got uh coupons.locker wait i already said coupons.lockernome.com didn't i i meant to say downloads.lockernome.com that's where you can download stuff and then lockernome.com outright you know content and stuff twitter.com slash chris perillo youtube.com slash chris perillo facebook.com slash chris perillo i'm all over the web really you can bing me if you want <laughs> kind of tickles though if you bing me doesn't tickle so much when you google me Oh, funacode.perillo.com. That's it. Haven't talked about that one in a while, have we, Airwolf? If if you're wondering where the jingle bells are coming from right now, that's Wicked. He's apparently scratching himself. Didn't realize dogs could do that. Now he's trying to make himself comfortable by... Can you hear that? It's like... He's, like, you know, kind of motioning there to get comfy if you yahoo me i don't even know what happens if you yahoo. i think the universe actually undoes itself if that happens we are typically talking tech and sometimes a little bit of science 24 hours a day seven days a week right here in the chat room with this live video feed at live.perillo.com we'll see you later